If puppies came with an instruction manual, there's one exercise that I wish every puppy owner would do with their dog. It's a very simple game and it takes just a few minutes, but it actually will make your puppy training easier. In this video, Kale's going to show you how this one game can teach your puppy a few different things. Number one, it's gonna teach your puppy how to take food gently. Number two, it's going to teach your puppy how to have some impulse control. And number three, it's gonna show your puppy that you are definitely worth listening to. So let's dive right into the training. I'm Ken Steep, this is Little Euchre. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. This episode is brought to you by Yukonuba. I'm gonna start off by taking some of her favorite treats and I'm just gonna put them into this bowl here. Good girl. And I'm just gonna place it off to the side and I'm just holding her back because she doesn't yet know not to grab the food. Now the first exercise, this exercise that I'm gonna focus on with you guys is call a rule out. And this is a tricky exercise to understand because the whole purpose of this is we are gonna teach the puppy to have self-control without us having to say gentle, gentle or leave it. It, we are going to let the puppy or the dog, you can do this with a dog of any age, decide their own fate. Now, what's going to happen is I have several pieces of food in my hand. And my goal is that I'm able to hold this hand out flat with all of the treats presented without Euchre trying to steal them out of my hand. Now, what's going to happen is each time she goes to steal the food from my hand, I'm going to prevent her from doing that by quickly, ooh, quickly closing my hand. I can see that she wants it and then as she pulls her head away and shows a bit more self-control I am then going to open my hand so it's going to be open close open close open close depending on what she's doing the more the puppy wants the food I'm going to close as she pulls herself away I open so you're going to see it happens very quickly now the position in which your puppy is in when you practice this does not matter they could be sitting standing lying down it doesn't really matter so I'm going to go ahead and give this a try so I'm going to put it near her face I'm just going to open it close. Yes, good girl. So she didn't go for it. So I'm going to guess and reward her. Yes, good. So every time she tries to go for it, I'm going to pull my hand away and close my hand. Yes, excellent. Yes, good girl. Now, you'll notice that when I reward her, I'm taking the food from my open hand and I'm delivering it to my puppy. What I wouldn't want to do is say yes and then let her have the food because it's going to make her think too much about getting the food from my hand. Now there's one very subtle thing that she's doing that I don't like that you might not notice unless you're a dog trainer is that when I go to get the food, she's at that last second, she's moving her head towards my hand a little bit. I would really like her to not do that at all. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again and I'm going to be a little bit more nitpicky with her. Good girl. Yes, there, that was better. Yes, good girl. Now, I wanna point out, I am not telling her leave it. I am not telling her not to touch it. She is deciding her own fate here. Now I'm gonna get her, okay, you're doing very good, my love. I'm gonna get her out of position and maybe let her stand to do this. Yes, good, bring the food to her. Yes, good. Yes, good girl. So she wasn't necessarily trying for the food there, but she kept motioning towards it. And then you can see on that last one, rather than motioning towards it, she stopped herself. And this is how we're showing self-control. I want her to think about what she needs to do in order to not get the reward. Good girl. Now we actually have another little puppy that we'd like to show you this uh, with. This is a 12 week old uh, black lab puppy named Piper. And uh, before I go ahead and show you the demo with her though, I want to talk about why self-control with a puppy of this age or a dog of any age is so important. You know, when your dog is able to show some self-control and they're able to control their emotions, you're going to have a much easier time working through issues like pulling on a leash or jumping at people when they, you know, want to be greeted, barking uncontrollably. You know, a lot of times when dogs are young, when they have a feeling of excitement or energy or whatever it might be, they just react to it. They don't have any impulse control. They just sort of react right away. So doing little exercises and games like this can really help to teach the puppy that when they see a distraction in front of them, don't just go for it, show some self-control and then rewards will come. Now we have to joke with our lab puppy owners because 
because most labs really love food and we get a lot of questions about what to do if puppies are taking the food really rough from our hands when we're trying to do training. So this exercise is gonna be helpful for that as well. Your puppy needs to learn to be very gentle when they take the food from their hand. So if you are going to feed your puppy and you feel any teeth or they're pawing or they're being a bit rambunctious, try to enclose the food in your hand and remove your hand from your puppy and then very quickly try again. If I'm getting sniffing and licking, yes, good girly, I can reward from there. I expect my puppy to take the food gently from my hand all the time, no matter what I'm working on. So you always can circle back to this exercise if you find your puppy's getting a bit rambunctious. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and try this rule out exercise with little Miss Piper here. So I'm gonna put some food in my hand and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing as I did with Euchre. I'm going to open my hand and close it depending on how much control my puppy is showing me. Oh, <laughs> well, there's a couple freebies. That didn't work out so well. Yes, good girl. So I'm gonna bring the food to her. Oops. Yes, good girl. So she goes towards the food, I pull my hand away. <laughs> good girl. Yes, good girl. I need to wait a second for her to finish chewing the food. Good girl, so I'm keeping it present. She goes towards, I pull my hand away. Yes, good girl. So you'll notice I'm using the word yes to pinpoint when she makes a correct choice. I'm saying the word yes as I see her pull herself away and show a little bit of self-control. Okay, I'm gonna make a little progression. She's actually doing quite well here. I'm gonna try it from a down position. Yes, good girl. And see if she'll hold that down position as the food is presented. Good girl. You just need to be patient. Yes, good girl. Again, moving the food to the puppy. All right, we're gonna do one more step here. She's doing absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna try putting some food on the floor and I'm gonna cover it if she gets up. Nope. I'm just gonna wait for her to stop trying for the food there. I'm gonna expose the food again. Oops, cover it. So this is exactly the same exercise, just but more of an advanced version. So I'm not, good. Yes, excellent, good girl. I'm gonna deliver the food to the puppy. Good girl, well done, excellent. Again, I'm not telling the puppy what she should do. I'm letting her figure it out. Wow, good girl. Move the food around a little bit, good. Yes, oh my God, she's brilliant. She's a brilliant puppy, good girl. What if I throw it? Oh, look at that. Good girl, yes, good girl, yes, excellent. Now, some people might say, oh, you must have done this training before. You know, that, that puppy's just not that food motivated. I can tell you for a fact, that this puppy is very food motivated. I have done a few exercises with her today and she was really into the food. But what I can also tell you is that this exercise goes very quickly if you have good timing, which I was able to show you there. Every time she made a good choice, I didn't make her sit there forever, you know, not going for the food. The moment she showed any type of self-control, I reinforced her very quickly. So if your information can come with good timing, oh, she's a really poly puppy. Um, if your information can come with good timing, your puppy should catch on to this very, very quickly. Now, little Piper is really showing a lot of um, progression with this exercise. So I'm gonna make it a little bit harder. I've now introduced the food bowl, which is something this puppy certainly recognized. Her whole body language changed when I started to put the food in a, in a dog dish. Now, the reason why we wanna do this is again, we're teaching a bit of self-control, but the other thing that this really does is teaches your dog that food comes from you. It doesn't randomly drop out of the sky. You know, it would be nice if you could show your puppy all the receipts that you you know buy from the pet store when you're, you're buying their food. But what's happening here is she's learning this food is coming coming from me and that if she's a good girl, she's going to get it. So I'm gonna take the food bowl and I'm gonna do exactly the same exercise. I'm gonna place it down in front of her. I'm not gonna tell you say anything. And if she goes for it, I'm simply going to pick it up. And I'm just gonna wait for her. She does not have to sit. She just, she's defaulting to a sit, which is great, but she doesn't have to. She just has to stop moving. I'm gonna lift it up. Lift it up. 
Lift it up. Lift it up. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. I'm gonna reward her several times here. Yes, good girl. So I had to do that a few times. Good girl, good, excellent. I'm gonna move it a little bit closer. I need to keep my hand, good, good choice. I need to keep my hand near the bowl because if she says to go for it, the worst thing that would happen is that she dive bombs the food and gets it all too quickly. Good girl, I'm gonna move it a little closer. Yes, good girl. Reward her again. Shake it around a bit, maybe make it a little harder. Good girl, yes, okay. Okay, you can have it now, okay, okay. Yay, good girl. She's like, are you sure? Good girl, yes, okay. Yay, good girl. So this is a really great way to have them show a little bit of self, uh, self control. And then of course you can let them have the food. Now I just have a little bit of her food in there so that I can practice the exercise a few more times. Good girl, so she's eating out of the bowl now. I'm gonna grab a few more kibbles back here. Oh, oops, I'm gonna try it again. Oops. Yes, good girl. And again, at this point, I do not care whether she's sitting or lying down or even standing. All that I care about is that she's not trying to go for the food. Good girl, yes, good, beautiful, good girl. Okay, okay, okay. Yay, good girl. And then I'm gonna clearly give her permission to go and get the food from there. That was awesome, Miss Pipey Doo. Now you can do exactly the same exercise if you're feeding them in their crate or whatever you're doing, but this is a great exercise that does not take a long time to do and you also can practice it for short periods of time, multiple times a day when you actually feed your dog. And it's such a great way to get a little bit of information in there that you're a leader, you're worth listening to, but you're doing it in a really fun way. Good girl. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Yukonuba. Each Yukonuba formula features Active Advantage, an exclusive protein nutrient powered design that fuels your dog's body, mind, and energy. We create videos here on YouTube to help you get out and do more with your four-legged family member. And Yukonuba believes that with dogs, an active life is a healthy life, and we couldn't agree more. Click the link in the description below to find out which Yukonuba formula is right for your dog. Now, this is a great exercise to practice at the beginning and the end of the day when you're feeding your puppy already. But if you want some more ideas on what you can do to train your puppy between these exercises, make sure you check out that card right there. And if you'd like the opportunity to ask our professional instructors questions about your training and get daily feedback, make sure you check out our Puppy Essentials online course. The link for that is in the description below. On that note, I'm Kale. This is Little Piper. Happy training. <laughs>